In this video, we shall solve the daily challenge asked in skill rack. So, first we have to accept two integers n and k as the input and then a n cross n matrix. We have to print yes if, the, if there is a triangle present in the top matrix with all the border elements of it equal to k. Else we have to print no. So, so let us understand it with a sample input. So this is the input. The first line contains n and k and then a n cross n matrix. Here the highlighted triangle has all the border elements equal to the value of k. Hence the output for this particular input is yes. So let us now try to form all the possible triangles in the matrix. So to form the to hence to form all the triangles in the matrix we have to start from the element 8. And we can clearly say that we can't form any triangle with the element 8 as there is no element present left to it. So now let us see the triangle formed by this element 5. So we can see this is the triangle formed by the element 5 and the border elements are not same and they are also not equal to k. Hence we move to the next element 3. So this is the triangle formed by the element 3 and these are highlighted are the border elements of it and we can see that again the border elements are not same and not equal to k. So again we form the next triangle in the matrix. And this is the next triangle formed and we can see that all the border elements are same. This is how we print this is why we print yes in this particular input so let us now try to form a triangle with this integer 6 so we can see that we are not able to form a triangle itself so from this we can understand that in order to form a triangle in the top matrix we have to iterate from 0 till the n by 2 so this is the c program which i have written in C language. Here I have declared some variables and got the input of n and k and also using a nested for loop I have accepted the input matrix. The logical execution starts from here. So here we can see that the for loop is iterating from 1 till n by 2 the reason for which we have already seen and soon after the for loop we are including a if condition and which checks the value is equal to k so the reason is the particular element is also a border element of the triangle so whenever the element is not equal to k it's not going to satisfy the condition so only when the particular elements value is equal to the k we are just traveling through the remaining border and the bottom elements of the triangle so we are just traveling through the left right and the bottom elements of the triangle using three while loops. So this while loop iterates through the left border elements of the triangle. Let us see how this works. In order, so this is the triangle formed by the, so this is the triangle formed by three. In order to travel through the left border elements, we are, we can just see that we have to increment the row once and the column is decreased. Similarly, again the row is increased, the column is decreased. So this is how we travel through the left border elements of the triangle. So that's the reason why we are incrementing the row once here and decrementing the column for every iteration. And similarly, in order to travel through the right border elements, we are incrementing both the row and column. So here we can see the right border elements of the triangle are 3, 0 and 9 and we can see that the row is incremented, the column is also incremented and again the row is incremented, the column is also incremented. So inside this while loop we are incrementing both R and C. Let us now take the last while loop. So this while loop travels through the bottom elements of the triangle. So the bottom element means these elements. So in this 
while traveling through this elements we can see the row is same the only thing which differs is the column so that's the reason why we are incrementing only the column in this while loop so this while loop travels through the border elements and every while loop has a if condition which checks whether the matrix element at particular instance is not equal is equal to k or not so whenever the matrix element at the particular instance is not equal to k the value of flag is set to 1 so using this we can check whether the border elements are same or not for example initially the flag is equal to 0 and whenever a uh, element in the border of the triangle which is not equal to k the flag will be set to 1 so after the execution of three while loops we are just checking again the value of the flag so if the value of the flag is equal to 0 then there is some triangle in the matrix which has all the border elements equal to k but if there is no elements which has all the border elements say then the value of flag at this particular case would be 1 so whenever we are so we are printing yes whenever the value of flag is equal to 0 and terminating the program using this exit condition in case if there is no elements with no triangles with all the border element values equal to k after execution of the after execution of this for loop the program just prints no and terminates so this is the logic in today's daily challenge let us now give a sample input and check whether this works or not i'm just going to pass the first sample input and run the program to check whether it prints yes so we can see that the program prints yes as the output so here this is the matrix the triangle with all the border elements same so let me just change one value alone so here now i am changing the value to 2 and again copy the same and run us and give us input so now we can see that the program prints no as the output because we have changed the value of value to 2 here and the remaining border elements which we have discussed doesn't have same doesn't have the border elements value equal to k so the program prints no as the output thank you for watching